It's the Coffee Talk podcast, and it's a Saturday morning. Last night, we messed up big time, or I messed up big time because, um, well, I've not been feeling too well recently, but I went to bed early, and then you came back having watched the tennis, and then this morning you said, why didn't we watch the Northern Lights last night? Yes, it happens only in how many years in this part of the it world? could be tonight, again. Okay, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I've seen it before in Canada, so... Oh, yeah. I know how it's gorgeous and We're going to be talking about Canada a little later on. Two things about Canada, but we'll talk about that later. When I went on to uh, social today, I'm really upset because some of the photographs are quite stunning. And you could see it here in BIH as well. Yes, yes, you could see it here, definitely. And uh, the Sibinchish family, they got some nice pictures. They've seen it. Yeah. Because they they live on a hill, so they could see it even better. And quite cool. my friend and yours as well, Igor Tadic, he's like the meteorologist meteorologist for local television. Um, and he got some good ones. He lives south of Banyaluka at Chesma, doesn't he? Yes, he does. So, yeah. So that's the start of this week's podcast. We messed up monumentally. Now, we haven't done um, one of these since March. We didn't mess up. We missed it. We missed it. We missed it. We Which missed... is really weird because David always records everything and then he missed the real thing. We missed up. We missed we up. We missed up, absolutely. <laughs> but we haven't done it, one of these since March. So it's a lot to catch up on. And we will do these a lot more often. Um, it's not TMI, but somebody did after the last um, podcast and on social as well when I mentioned that I haven't been <laughs> feeling great since, Jan- Serbia, since Serbia, no. Serbian Christmas. No, since your Christmas. Since my Christmas. Yes. God, is that long ago? Yeah. It's four months. Four months. Nearly five months. I have a bladder kidney issue. I'm not yes. going to go into too much. I'm not wearing diapers, so it's not that bad yet. <laughs> but I've had some tests and then we have more tests. David and... has a blood in his urine. So yeah. that's how far we're going to go. And we did some tests and everything. Everything looks fine. So we can figure it out. So he needs to do more tests now, more detailed tests. Yeah. So I'm having this deep and meaningful relationship with the pee doctor. Yeah. <laughs> we'll say no more. Urologist. 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 Yeah, he absolutely. has two doctors, actually. Yeah. So, and they're very, very good, and I'm being looked after by them at the University Clinical Centre. Yes. Ukatse yes. in Vanyaluka. And people say sometimes online that the medical care in Bosnia and Herzegovina isn't up to much, but our experience of it, or at least my experience of it, has been very good, actually. Yes, because you are a foreigner and they want to impress you. <laughs> Also, we are going to try, because we are waiting for some tests and results, and it takes a long time for them. We're going to try, and uh, near our place, there's a small place called Topala, and they have a, like a... Windhorst. Windhorst, yes, and they have a, like a church uh, from many, many years ago with the German nuns, and they've been healing people with the herbal remedies. So when I had my issues with my stomach, nothing helped me. None of the drugs that I was described by the doctors. And I went to see them and they gave me this tea and that really helped me. Really, really saved me. So we're hoping that there'll be So some... on Monday, we're going to go to this place and we're going to try and get some herbal remedy for David. He's taking antibiotics as well. He has this lung therapy, but that will not uh, interact with the... With the herbal therapy, so why not try it? Yeah, and these I, nuns I, I, are great. I, I was taking some uvin chai, uvin chai, which yes. to me sounds yeah. like urine chai. Yes, but, but it's not. It is, but <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have some today. He didn't have it in days, so no, but, it really helps as well. And while we're recording this, I've got a bit of a niggle, so um, I'll try not to go. Uh, but it is what it is, and we'll have to see. Um, it could be kidney stones, but we don't want to go into any more about my medical conditions. Some of the things that have happened in no order of priority. Um, after my Christmas was Serbian Christmas. Mm-hmm. And then we went from there to uh, my and your Easter. Yes. Now, when we left the Christmas behind and everything and, and, and we got up to Easter, we've had a few people pass on in the family. We're not going to dwell on that at all, but we didn't feel this year that we should be doing any any, any really celebrations. No. It's too too close to to things that that happen. They happen in life. This year didn't start well. No, it didn't. that way, way in, in that sort of way it didn't start well at all. But as I say, it's it happens, it's gonna happen. So it happened and the life has to go on. Yeah. And then afterwards, especially after the um Easter, there's uh Slavas as well coming along. 
um, which are Saints Days, big family Saints Days. Your dad off? Dad's been off three days, hasn't he? Hasn't he been to three of them? No, two of them. Two of them. Two of them. Yeah, and they huge. He has the friends who celebrate. So yeah, um, the first one he brought back. Celebration of Slava means usually uh, that death by food, death by meat. Death by meat. Yes. And when your dad came back from our neighbours for Easter, um, he brought back a bucket of meat. Wasn't it? Or was that or was that a Slava that he went to? Well, he he brought. No, a, that was now. Now he now for Easter. Yeah, he brought a, a a bucket, and I'm telling you, because he, he usually bakes a pig uh, half and half with the neighbor. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And um, because our neighbor, he has he grows pigs, and then my dad buys half. You know, for Easter or birthday or when we have guests, he buys half of it. But this was a huge. Um, if you can imagine, like these big buckets of paint that you buy from the hardware store when you're redecorating. Yes. Upol. Upol. Yeah, they call over here. That was huge, and. I, I can't face any more meat. What about you? We still have some in the fridge, but I'm not cooking until that's all gone. No, that's I'm gonna, sorry. It's going to take a long and time. And I made some uh, soup, lentil soup, like a chorba, which was very good. And uh, I like that now more than the meat. I, I'm, I'm meat. I'm meat. Yes, out. and my friend showed me how to make it the Greek way. We're going to be talking <laughs> about that um, in just a minute. So that's what we've been doing, eating a lot, um, which is nice when it starts, but can get a little bit tiring repetitive repetitive oh you you've got all the big words today do i um our banana plant is david is obsessed with our, our banana, banana plant. plant if we don't get kilo of banana this year i think he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna we, cry we, we, we're not but we have this wonderful banana plant and you should now, put the picture for people i will um and yeah i will we and, didn't know if it survived the winter but it did because we we wrapped it really well and the winter was quite hot but we didn't unwrap it so the following winter if it's warm we're gonna keep on wrapping wrapping and wrapping because usually the days were very warm and the nights were kind of cold so it got a little bit of uh how do you say frostnip uh, no the banana got mashy the the, the, the thing oh, yeah, we thought it had gone rotten yeah rotten yes that's the word and then uh it didn't david will put a picture underneath yeah this. it's good but now to show you it looks wonderful but now think of a local Male name beginning with B. I would say Boris. Okay. Boyan? Benjamin. Benjamin? Benjamin. Let's that, say Benjamin. Is that a local name? Not really, but it's a nice name. Was it Boyan or Boris? Which is better out? out Boyan, Boyan. 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 Boyan the banana plant. Oh, Boris. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Boris the banana plant is doing so well and has now been joined by a female cousin, which is a pl palm tree? Oh, palm tree, yes. Yeah. How do you know she's female? Well, we've got to make that up, right? Okay. Boys and girls together. Okay. So give me a good... Boris and Boyana. Give... give, give, give bo that was a chair squeaking, by the way. Boris and Boyana. Okay, yes. So Boyana, the um, plant, the palm plant. And we plant. got them from the same person, actually. Yeah. From my dad's friend. That's in the garden, and we're looking forward to doing that, and I'll take some photographs mm -hmm. of that. Um, I've been really buzzing because... Something that irritates Tamara in the mornings in the summer, and you have to admit, is when, I mean, we do get very, very warm nights. They go up to 15, 16, 17 degrees during the night, even warmer, and we have the window open. And so, like, when dawn breaks, all these birds that we have sing. And it, it, it doesn't bother me. I you love said it. once, those birds, those birds. Yeah, because they wake me up. Well, yeah, that's, that's what they do. What it is. They're called the dawn chorus. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> So for years, I've been thinking, I wonder how I could find out what sort of birds and how many types of birds are here. And then my friend, um, uh, Documentally, that's his nickname, his username online, Christian Payne, um, he had a post and he had an app that tells him what bird it is. What bird it is. Now, I, forgot, to its song. I lost a post and I couldn't work out what app it was. But, but you know what you do? You go to the app store and you play around and you got it. And we have... At the moment, and it's growing, we have... Um, pheasants. Pheasants. A huge population. Of jays. Pheasants. Jays. Uh, we have great tits, uh, two types of uh, sparrow, and... We, we have a night cup. The cup. A nightingale. What about uh, the one that has a black hat, like? That's the tit, the great tit. Ah, oh, okay. Which is, one of those is now living in a hole in one of the rafters on the roof. And we also have woodpeckers. And the woodpecker and, and the tit 
I can see why, 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 why they lived together, because the woodpecker was hammering at our rafter for two summers and made a significant hole yes. in the roof. But and he's not there anymore. No, I haven't no. seen him. But who's got into the hole? The, the great one, tit. The great tit. Yeah. That's so just... you, you can't work out how it's going to have... I don't think it's going to have a nest in there. I just think it stays there. It will have a nest, definitely. But I don't know if it's a big enough, you know, to have all these little birds. Hopefully they're not going to fall down. Mm. We should buy some birds, like a bird's houses and put them up. But the thing is we have like seven cats and that's too dangerous to have a bird's nest near our house. Well, we'd, have to, we'd have to put the bird houses, oh yeah, they, they, they climb everywhere our cats. They don't are, they? yeah. As we're recording this, the sun is coming through the studio windows and outside your dad is in, in the garden. What are you, or what, not are you necessarily, but what are... Lillian Predrag, your mum and dad, <laughs> planting this year. Got any this ideas? year, same as every year, paprika paradise, patlajan, look. What is patlajan garlic, in English? Uh, eggplant. Eggplant. Eggplant, peppers, uh, different kinds of pepper. Early peppers, which are usually yellow peppers. Then we have a long red peppers called roga. And then uh, this year he, he, he got some Chinese onion, which are apparently huge onions. He got those. And uh, garlic. And we have like a beetroot, uh, no carrots this year. I told my mother, don't do the carrots anymore because they're always like too small and mm -hmm. so hard to maintain. So she's not doing carrots. We're going to have some beans, like a green beans, yellow beans. And yeah, that's uh, zucchini. We have a white zucchini, green zucchini. We're waiting for some, hopefully, to get some seeds. Some t yeah, we're hoping Chicken to get some seeds from England, aren't we? Like for the Cornish, the one that you pickle. They planted like those. gherkins, like gherkins, yeah. But, we're, for but we're waiting for for seeds from England for the long English. Yes. Do you like English cucumbers? Though? Yes, they don't. Why is that? Because that's the only cucumber that doesn't give me a heartburn. All the other ones, it's so hard for me to digest. Same like cantaloupe. I love cantaloupe really well. Like I really love it, but it gives me heartburn. But you, I know that you pickled use... cucumbers don't 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 give me heartburn. But the English one, it could be the seeds. I'm not sure. But the English one doesn't give me heartburn at all. And I love it. It's just the best cucumber ever. And then they grow here like... Wildfire. Like one meter, meter and a half. They're, they're really long. One cucumber you can need two weeks, I'm telling you. You were talking about tzatziki earlier on. And that's why I wanted to finish off the podcast with this. We have just said goodbye to your friend. You spent seven years of your life in... Canada. In Canada, right? Manitoba. Late 1990s till 2000. Yes, yes. Something like that. And I met my best friend. Uh, she's... Uh, what is Debbie's real a, family Greek, name? Greek-Canadian. Panayoto. Panayoto. Yes. Panayoto. Panayoto. Anyway, Debbie came to spend five five nights with us. First time ever. Yeah, she she's doing a European she, tour. Yeah, she always wanted to meet my parents and see where I live and everything. And finally, she's done it. And I've been to Canada last time in 2006. That's when I saw her last. I went to Winnipeg for seven days. And uh, she came here finally. She might come back with her husband in September, which I'm looking forward to because uh, she's been here like a short time and she didn't feel really well. She got a cold on a plane. So we stayed in the house. But when she comes in September with her husband, we have a plan to do a little touristy thing, show them around and experience more. I like the way that she said, I've got a sore throat, so I'll, I'll just keep sipping on rakia. She fell in love with that. They say it, raki. But it isn't. Greek, Greek raki and Turkish raki is not really the same, but no. maybe similarities somewhere? No, but she likes this one that my father made. It's really nice and good stuff. But she says that the Turkish raki is sweet. She doesn't like sweet. She likes it like like German schnapps or yeah, something like that. How do you like think? That. I mean, I kept away for as much as possible. One, because I wasn't feeling quite my best. But the other reason, it was for you guys to, to catch up. What Thinking back now that you've had time, I mean, she's... I think she's in Italy now, isn't she? And then, yes, uh, Lake Como. She, yeah, and then does she go back to Canada from there? No, she goes back to France, I think. All right. And then she goes on 22nd to right. Canada. So anyway, now you've had time to think about it. What do you think Debbie's reactions were to to BIH? For me, was, wow, how how cheap everything is. But Yeah, I think how I, I, yeah she, she reacted how cheap everything was, especially in the restaurant. She says in Canada, it would be meal for one person. And she said how Canada is so expensive now to live, like everything is like double price, and especially the food. And I remember the food in Canada was much cheaper. 
And here, food was always more expensive. The clothes was is cheap here, but the food was uh, much more expensive. But in Canada, food used to be cheap, but not anymore. She says you you pay now for one chicken fourteen dollars, which is a lot. We don't pay That's that. That's a lot of money. No. I think she enjoyed herself. I mean, everybody says herself. when they go, everybody she says when they it. go, don't they? Thank you. I had a wonderful time. Yeah. Uh, but then it's like when you say you'll come Maybe back. Maybe she right? felt like when I came back from Canada after being this, there seven years, when I came back here, everything looked so small. So small because in Canada, the roads are like six lines. Everything is huge. Parks are huge. And here, everything is small, like really small. I don't think you can drive like a proper truck here. I think she, she had fun, didn't she? Over. Yeah, she did definitely. Have we fun. took her. We took her for a walk around Banya Luka. The weather was atrocious. It was raining. It wasn't um, the best. And there's a place. Some say it's good. Some say it's bad. And it does have its day when the person making what I'm going to talk about makes it good, and sometimes it doesn't. But there's uh, a pie shop, Pita shop, which is right next to the. Oh my God, that was amazing! Yeah. Right now, I was shocked because not only did was she amazed at seeing it being cooked under the satch, and you can see the satch. Um, being used in this very, very tiny um, place. But we sampled some pies, and one of them was spinach and cheese, isn't it? Yeah. Spinach and cheese. And I, I looked at her and I thought, mm, I wonder what her reaction is going to be here because spanakopita is similar yes. in Greek. Yes. And she's good at feta, that. She loves it. Feta cheese and spinach, yeah. Yeah, so she sat down with, uh, how do you say the, the we Spanish bought- one? Shelian- What's the name of the pie? Zelenitsa. 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 I'll, I'll, I'll let Tam do that. <laughs> she was over the moon with it. Yeah, she said it was very good. The, the pie was very good, but the last time when we went before Debbie came, it was not good at all. I was so disappointed. Maybe that's because of the person making it. It could be, yeah. It could be definitely of the chef. But this time, the pita was amazing. We had a cheese pita, we had zelenitsa, like sirnitsa, zelenitsa, and krompirusha which is uh, like a potato. potato pie. They were all three amazing, really good. Well, my, my top recommendation, with or without the goodness of the, or the standard of the, the cook at the day is Peter Podsachem, yes? Peter is Podsacha. Is Podsacha, which is right next to the, the mosque. So when you see the, the, the main entrance to the main mosque, uh, in Banja Luka, when you have that in front of you, there's a little road down by the side. Just go down there, and you'll see a hole in the, like in between the houses, and you'll see it because it's chairs. Oh, you can ask so. locals. Where like, is the best pita? Where's the pita place? Is Potsacha. <laughs> so that's our um, catch up. Oh, talking about mosques, um, the what was it? The the remaining mosque to be completed, which has taken years and years and years, that was destroyed 31 years ago, whatever. The Arno. Arno Dia. Yeah. It was open just like a few days ago. Yeah. A lot of people it turned up. It really nice. I hope it's going to be open for tourists yeah. to see. President, Prime Minister, everybody turned yeah, up. Yeah, everyone turned up. And um, the the Vice President of Turkey came as well. So. It was really good. I'm looking forward to going inside it because I think from the research I've done, you can. I'm not sure if it's going to be open. I know Ferhadiya is open, but everyone heard about that, that mosque. But maybe this one is also going to be open for tourists. Well, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. It will be some, something different to see. Um, on the blog... It's uh, not far away from uh, Ferhadiya at all. 800 meters. It's in the same, actually, part the road of the that town. joins them. Yeah. yeah There's a road that joins them. Yeah. You just walk straight that road and you hit the uh, Arnaudia. On the blog, we've just got our first contributor, the Shibinchich family, who are going to be talking about self-sustainability. So please do uh, check that out. We've got some podcasts lined up. Um, guess who I wrote to for a podcast request today? Who? Oh. Vucic. No, I'm not, I'm not doing politicians. <laughs> um, I'll give you his first name and see if you can guess it. Milos. Obilic. <laughs> no, darling, he no, died know. hundreds of years ago. Wait, Milos? Milos? Don... Oh, Vosana. No, you no, that's Mila. That that's Mila. Oh, that's Mila. That's Mila, the cartoonist. I don't know who Milos is. But you like him very much. Milos? Yes. So I get, let, let's see if Tamara can get this, how, how long it takes her to get this. Right, here's, here's your um, jog. I'm going to give you something to jog your mind so you come up with a person. Pas libre. Pas? Pas libre. Who said that? Has he scraped the parsley off the chopping board into the garbage? 
Oh, you have him? Yeah, yeah. well, I have him. Balkan Dad. Yeah, I'm going to be... Uh, I know I... him as a Balkan Dad, not as a Milos. No, that's his first name, real. So you're going to interview him? Well, I don't know. I've sent... Uh, just before we recorded this, I sent off an email. I said, dear Milos, I don't know whether he's in Serbia still or whether he's gone back to his native New Zealand. But he, I don't know, yeah. This guy does uh, so much for promoting the Balkans. Yeah. And the Same par- like that American guy, Eustace. Uh, uh, Eustace, it? yeah. Eustace Reed. Eustace Reed, yeah. He's but weird. Eustace is, a, is an American and has no con- a, a yeah, real connection. Yeah, but it's so weird to see an American li- Absolutely. liking but, but, this place. But so Milos much. is a first generation, I think, okay, my, I, I'll find this out if we get to do the podcast. He's a first generation New Zealander, but his parents are originally from this area. From Serbia. From yeah. Serbia, I think. And the parody that he's made of Balkan Dad is so overwhelmingly uh, entertaining. It's funny. Um, sometimes mildly disrespectful, but I it's think very he, good. It, it's very good, and you can learn a lot yes, from him through, about our culture. Yeah, yeah through the humour, through the humour of Balkan. Um, so I've got that, and I'm just about to send uh, another email to a couple of young ladies who are involved in I never knew seriously high quality female football mm. in this region. Do you know who one of the top European? female football teams are no it's uh football club sarajevo never knew that yeah but I'm the late to football but the lady but the ladies team not the not the male team um i don't know sfk whatever there might be a special you should team ask Norma. for ladies so we're doing that so please um do subscribe to the podcast do subscribe to the blog there's lots of links wherever you um uh listen to this if you have any questions please don't hesitate mm. to send us we'll try to answer them in the next podcast or down below in the comments we, we should, should really try and do this um we should do q a by, by week yeah, yeah so, so if you've got any questions um we'll do that and i'm going to start putting in links to uh our apartment that we have upstairs here in the village um but more about that later because if you want to come and have you know like tan said it's cheap to travel in this country, especially if you're using public transport. If you want to have like, a, because when I saw my friend uh, trying to book a room, you know, in Rome or in Milano, like that's hellishly expensive. And I told her and why. difficult th- as well. And I said, why don't you stay here? You know, for that money, you could stay in a posh hotel in Bosnia. You could try the best food we have. You could see the most beautiful country in the Europe, which is my country. Correct. Uh, it's 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 so you can see the difference in uh, cultures because this area was invaded by many different cultures. You can see that in architecture and everything. You know, f- for quarter of the price that you pay. I mean, I know Italy is Italy, Rome is Rome, but you know, if you come for a holiday, you should really come here because it's still cheap. It's in the Europe, and it's lovely. And on top of that, if you come and stay with us, it's even cheaper. Yeah, that's normally. True. Okay, so what's your plan for the rest of the weekend? We're recording this on a Saturday. Yeah, my plan is to watch Novak Djokovic tomorrow watch night. Watch Stanis Novak Djokovic was accidentally hit by a water bottle in his head last night, and I watched that last night, and I was really shocked to see. But he's okay; he's recovering. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna watch tennis. There's some good matches today. Gardening. Some gardening, yes, weeding, de-weeding, how do you say? Yeah, de-weeding. Uh, no, weeding, just weeding. Weeding, killing weeds. What about and sourdough? Any news on the sourdough front? No, I made yesterday my sourdough. We had really products. nice, your, your muffins this morning with... Yeah, uh, English muffins. With an English breakfast on it, with a bit of... Yeah, tomorrow we'll have it with smoked salmon and egg. Ooh. <laughs> so, so is that, so that going to be eggs Benedict, right? Eggs Benedict minus the hollandaise. Okay, no, but we can call it Eggs Benedict Chadarchini Nachin. Yeah, but you, you can make hollandaise sauce with the yogurt and a little bit of zenf. It's a healthier version and it tastes really good, they say. Put some salt, zenf, yogurt. I make my homemade yogurt. I started to make that and it tastes so much better than a store And you put a little bit of that and it's wonderful. Cool. Deal? Well, deal? Deal? And dill. Yeah, I like, I like dill. That. I like that. Debbie put dill in the tzatziki, didn't she? Yes. Yeah. You make tzatziki with dill and olive oil. My favorite is um, um, curry. Mint, but curry. You're, not, you're not really into mint, are you? No. No mint on my eggs, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I wouldn't put mint on my eggs then. Anyway, that. <laughs>
that's it from this episode and we'll catch you uh, on the next one so I'm going to say bye for now and you're going to say that in Serbsky yeah do vidjenja laku noć prijatno wherever you are all over the world vidimo se do vidjenja arrivederci zdravo ciao bella